So just a quick little video of people. <clears throat> if you have an ABS light coming on your car, and let's say you have a cheap scanner or somebody has scanned it for you, and you can clear the code. It comes up with, say, a specific wheel speed sensor, signal loss or fault, or whatever it may be. And you clear it, the code clears, but as soon as you move, the code comes back. And this is usually the culprit with these type of bearings. So you see how it's got this ring that's partial here and then broken the rest of the way around? What it is, is this is what the ABS reads the signal off of. And when this happens, well, obviously when you start moving, it's C signal, lose a signal, C signal, lose a signal, and then it throws an engine light on. So when your mechanic tells you, hey, you need a wheel bearing that's gonna fix your ABS problem, this is probably what the reasoning is, because the bearing itself, this bearing is fine. Um, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is obviously a different bearing, but you see the same idea. It's got this here. And over time, if you live in an area where you have uh, east coast, northern, anywhere you use salt and rust as an issue, that's what happened here. Is just rust got underneath, built up, and then just broke it away. So <clears throat> that's what happens is these will go. Now, there are different configurations for different ABSs, but in this situation, this is why it needed a wheel bearing to fix the ABS light on the customer's vehicle. Um, so anyway, that fixed it and uh, everybody's happy.